Mackenzie, and this is a live screen uh, dive into Luna, the recording software by Universal Audio. It's a very hip software, all right? So here we're playing with the software instrument. You can see I've already got it set up. If I use my 37 key step, just like a MIDI controller, uh, very basically to use it, just uh, plug it in with a USB cable. It should match up. Now, uh, I'm gonna hide this track. Um, take it out of record enable by just clicking on the record uh, little button there. And uh, if I, uh, in this window over here, the show hide window, it's like it's got a list of all the tracks that we're using. So for the synth track, for this one, I can actually hide it. And that actually disables the synth now I'm trying to play it, it doesn't work. Now we just have my talkback mic, which has, you know, a couple of plugins just as inserts. And uh, for some reason, when I record an OBS or when I, yeah, record an OBS, if I don't have like input monitoring selected, um, there's this weird thing that happens with the console and it just shuts down my track otherwise. All right. So I don't know why, but that's just, that's what it does. Command equal sign toggles back and forth to our, uh, our, our um, mix window and our edit window, right? Um, so this is our edit window. It's considered our edit window because it's it's easy to make edits, but I don't have anything recorded, so we can't really edit anything. Um, but I'll show you how to make a track. So if you go Shift, Command, N, it'll bring up this sort of um, new track settings, and then you can decide on a couple of things here. You can decide whether or not you want it to be an instrument track or an audio track or a bus. All right. I'll, I'll cover some of these other things later. Audio is simply if you're just recording like a real instrument or a, a vocal take or something like that. Instrument track is a virtual instrument. They're, they probably should say virtual instrument, but they don't. We're going to open up a new software instrument. It loads. And now here it is. All right. Ready to go. It's just called instrument two. So I'm going to double click on it and just call it synth two. And we're just going to muck about. So this little widget here, this is how we, we work with shape. All right. So we can, um, we can basically, so it def defaults naturally to the, the Ravel piano, which is a very cool little piano. And, uh, and you know, you can, you can play around with that. Like I, I know from experience that the cutoff works nicely on the piano. So you can, um, take some of the high end out if you find it a little bright like right you could actually cut off quite a bit see it's, it gives it the underwater vibe or the like you're in another room and music is playing or something vibe notice that there's four um separate channels in this little synth engine all right and then there's a effects buses in each channel and then here's the effect that uh, that it just sort of has open as default. So it's got a delay and a reverb. All right. So if we click on these lines, it brings us into see um, the list of different instruments that we can we can choose from. So right now it's on the keys uh, grouping. All right, so if I switched up to leads, it would give me a list of all these different um, synthesizer leads. But right now it's on keys when you default to it, and then the, and then the, uh, the Ravel light is the keyboard that it's on, right? So you can, you can switch to the read, A-L-T, it's, li it's a light uh, Rhodes synthesizer sound or a soft piano, or the Tyne MK1 LT which is a really tripped out sort of kind of psychedelic wavy roads. I really like it. Yeah, you can sort of instantly start making music with it. And it sounds cool. Um, there's obviously there's drum sounds that are great. You know, this little, where's the little, here's a little rap kit. So if you open that up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of cool. 
So you can toggle through any sort of sound that you want. There's percussion, bass. Uh, that's something that you can uh, you can dive into and, and get familiar with all the sounds yourself when you get the software, if you get a chance to use it. Um, one thing, uh, just to dive a little deeper into this particular um, synth engine, is uh, I'm going to go to pads, all right? And we'll find something that we like. That's kind of cool, eh? We have our monks, Sir Monk 1, Sir Monk 2, and Sir Monk 3, Brother Robin. And, uh, you know, so we could we could keep part one as the monks, all right? Because they've been training for many years, singing Gregorian chant, and they're quite good. There they are just singing a major triad, as they like to do. Uh, Brother Robin, can you maybe hit the high note? You're not so great on the bass. Yes, Dave. There he goes. Brother Robin is uh, actually a... Castrato, sadly, um, but no. Um, anyways, so that's part one. We'll keep it as the the brothers, and uh, we'll go to part two, and we can we can dip in with a little lead, right? Like here's a, a cool um, here's a cool lead, and now and you can hear. So so now, if you listen faint, like carefully, if you listen carefully, I should probably this is probably taking your head off a bit. I'm gonna pull the synth volume back there we go how's that friends something i should have done early on um uh so now if you listen carefully you can hear our monk monkish friends just sort of singing but they're overpowered by uh psychedelics or the the uh the sound of the synthesizer so what i'm going to do now this is uh this is bizarre this needs to probably f be fixed because it's annoying if it's your first time but um you see how in the periphery um, surrounding all of these lists of, uh, of different instruments, um, you can sort of see that the front of this widget, you have to go there in the periphery and click, and that brings you back to this window, okay, which is the overall settings on your, on your synths. Now you can see the levels are matched, but the, uh, clearly this, this lead is so much more aggressive than the monks. So if we bring it back, now we can sort of blend it better. There. So now you can sort of get a, a sense of the, the sound and we've built, we've layered a little synthesizer sound. We could go into uh, part three and, uh, and continue on our happy way, we could add an organ. Let's do it. And again, that's quite loud. So if we go back into the phased out sort of window here. Now it's getting overpowered by, uh, you know, a Gregorian vibe. So we'll go into part four and maybe we'll pick a, another pad, like a pad. Maybe we'll pick a lead and uh, we'll do like a square lead. Now we've got that. And now we can make the music for, you know, Clockwork Orange again or something. Or get hired to do, you know, some music for a horror movie or something like that. So that's how you build synth sounds using shape in Universal Audio's Luna. Um, there's much, much more that can be done, okay, clearly. Um, you can play around with these, these knobs on top, and I, and I beseech you, do it. Don't be afraid of not being able to get a sound back or whatever. That's just, you know, that's just cowardly. You fearlessly need to make music from your heart and tweak things and get, get caught in the software nether and fight your way back that's how you learn all right and i look forward to hearing your songs and seeing your comments so let us know what you'd like to learn about and uh i hope you enjoyed that little deep dive into shape this is uh shape uh you know like free software synth um you know brought to you by universal audio and my name is dave mckenzie i'm here at beyond the beat um just making this uh, little tutorial for you so i hope you dig it and enjoy all right talk to you next time guys on making music.